How to prepare cookerwork visual. Hello and welcome to my channel, Robot Expertise Hub, where you will grasp the understanding how to program industrial robots. My name is Evgeny Dushkin and let's get started. In this video, I would like to show you the steps of what to do when you're facing the robot on a real facility. I mean, if uh, Cocoa options already installed and you have to do some modifications here. Every time when you start working with Cuca robot, you have to prepare your Cuca work visual on your laptop. This, is, this preparation may include installation of Cuca options into work visual on your laptop. The first thing which you have to check, this is a version of work visual on your laptop and the version of work visual which was used for developing the robot project of the current robot. If you are near of the robot, you can press work visual icon on your smart pad and see which version was used. Now open your work visual, push the question mark, push about, here you go. If you don't have access to the robot and you have only a cook archive, you also can check it. I described how to do so in one of my previous videos. You can find it by the link. If you have the same version, that's good. If not, just check Cook Opt folder on the robot controller. Usually this folder contains all the software specifically for this robot. That may include a work visual installer and Cook options. Or you can have a look on the Cook portal in download section. What problems can arise if you just ignore this step? Well, if your version is higher, that will work for you. But if there are other Cocoa developers who are working with this robot, they might need to update their version of work visual up to yours. That makes some inconvenience. And in other case, if your version is lower, you just might be not able to open the robot project in your work visual. The second step is to check which options was installed to your robot controller and copy them to your laptop. Go to menu, start up, network configuration. Memorize the IP address of your robot controller. You have to set the settings of your network adapter to address in the same subnet. Go to menu, start up, additional software. Here you can see all the options installed and their versions. Go to menu, start up, service, minimize HMI. Now you have access to windows of Cuca controller. Go D, Cuca opt. This is the storage of all software and options. Copy it to your laptop using the USB stick or Cuca virtual remote panel software. Let's open a robot project on your laptop using your work visual. Open your work visual, file, browse project. If your network adapter was set up appropriately, you will see your Cuca controller. Expand this list and select the current project with a green triangle. When project opened, you see yellow warning message that several options which use it in this project are not installed yet into your work visual. You also can see the list of installed options in the project tree. Let's install them. Go to Extras, Optional Package Management. I just created new options for files specifically for this robot. Call it KRC5 Mini. Push plus button on the right to install new options in this profile. Project should be closed when we are installing the options. I close the project and try install options again. Sometimes, during the installation of Cuca options, it is required to restart work visual.
I install these options one by one. Now I face it missing dependencies. That means this robotic option should be installed prior to a ready to educate vision option. That is good to know. I will change the order of installation. When all the required cook options was installed to your work visual, let's open the project one more time. Now I can't see any warning messages about missing packages. I will just compile the project without any changes and deploy it from my prepared work visual into the robot controller. Administrator mode and some manipulations are required on the SmartPad side during the activation. Activated, no errors on the work visual side, no errors on the robot controller side. Congratulations, job's done. Let's summarize what we learned today about Cocoa Work Visual. Now we know that it is important to use a specific version of work visual and how to check it. Now we know how to see the list of installed Cocoa options, where to find installation files and how to install them. That's everything about Cocoa Work Visual for today. Tap the like button if it was useful and subscribe to make sure you won't miss the next video.